Okay, so we're testing the Ford ignition coil driven by a half bridge and we're just going to see if we can produce some corona from that pinpoint. I think we are already producing some. But the uh, thing I wanted to do, I had it on the plate earlier but it was arcing across so um, I've moved it since. That's probably about 100 volts across across that coil. Let's see if it's got warm at all. Yeah, it's mildly warm. Probably about 20C, 25C or so. So I think it can go further. Question if I'm... Uh, question I'm going to ask you. Do I want to really push it that hard? Because it's a nice coil, I don't want to destroy it. Oops, and the cable's come out. Oh, one moment. We're back, I've put a, a little bolt in there just to hold the, the uh, cable in place. And I've rearranged the jig. So I'm just going to retune because obviously the secondary capacitance has changed. Uh, not very much, so that's fine. Uh, that's fine. Okay, let's put the let's crank up the juice. I'd say frequency is about ten kilohertz, and that output, I'd say, just probably about eighty volts or so going by that meter. Don't know how accurate it is. More volts produces a much more intense discharge and over 100 volts. Transformer appears to be fine, no obvious smoke, which is a great situation. Let's try making the gap, let's try making that gap a little bit larger. Okay, so we're back. Um, I've made the arc distance probably three and a half inches or so. I've uh, put something behind it so you can see the electrode a bit more clearly. Uh, let's begin again. Okay, so the indicator. That'll just let's just retune just to see. That's higher, lower. Okay, so it's about there. I'm not sure on the frequency exactly, but I think we're easily over ten kilohertz. Got good. Lots of arcing coming off the actual rod. silicon HT leads and that's arcing across to my fingers quite readily that's uh, got to be a substantial amount of volts across that. Uh, shall we go further? One moment. Okay we're back again the distance is substantially larger there's a Molex for scale that's probably easily four inches now um, I think we're pushing our limits on this coil but uh, for the purposes of Experimentation, let's just retune. Now we're already at optimal frequency. Okay. So we've got plenty of streamers occurring at about 30 volts. Probably about one, probably what 180 volts. The temperature on the coil is getting quite warm now. Surprised it hasn't failed. Surprised this thing hasn't failed at all yet. How hot the 
IGBTs stone cold. That's brilliant. I think I wasn't giving them enough volts. That's why they kept on the gates. That's why they kept failing. Um, these optos, by the way, uh, the FOD. Oh, I can't even zoom in. Let's have a look. Come on. 3182s, FOD 3182s, they don't give an output like the supply voltage from the transformers there. Those are on a Variac at the moment because I just wanted to fine tune to get plus and minus 15 volts. They they don't like being under volt, so make sure you've got a good supply. Let's try again. Yeah, 180 volts. That's quite impressive. I must say that's uh, quite an impressive coil. For those of you who want to know what coil I'm using, it's a one of those by Ford. And I'm only using one output. I could actually probably parallel those up because I think because the way I'm driving it, the middle pin. This is three pin device. The middle pin is positive, and the other two are switched negative. So. Bank A and Bank B will be kind of taking in turns. It's wasted spark, so two plugs fire at the same time. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Thank you again for watching.